weight loss that's always a big resolution every new year so next we've got this beautiful couple sharing their secrets to success together they've lost more than a hundred pounds wow all right so it is really the number one new year's resolution that you always hear losing weight it's also the most abandoned each and every single year by about the end of january but we have here this morning ashley evans and brendan roche here to share their story for success uh, the couple together, you have lost a combined 115 plus pounds together. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So I know we're in a year we hear so much about many of these weight loss drugs. People go different routes to lose weight. How did you guys do this together? Um, we first started by changing our diet completely and switching to whole foods rather than processed foods. Um, really went hard with our vegetables and lean protein. So starting in the kitchen was key for us in the beginning. Yeah. I imagine having a, a an accountability partner, someone that you can lean on when things get hard. Was that helpful for both of you? Absolutely. I think that was honestly one of the best best parts because we got to really not only um, celebrate our own personal goals, but we could celebrate each other. And then being able to um, keep each other accountable as we're going through this process because it's really a kind of an internal battle um, that we're working with as we made it through this journey. What what was the, the, the turning point for you all when you said, look, we need to do this and let's do this together? Yeah, so we, um, I was awarded a trip to Maui um, in May of last year, and we were both really excited, but then we realized, hey, we're going to be on the beach with my coworkers, mm -hmm. and we've gone over the last couple of years through those ups and downs of let's make this journey happen, but that was really the catalyst that we said, let's start today, um, and we adjusted our diet, and the rest is history. Yeah. I, I can imagine this obviously was not easy for either of you. How, how difficult was this? It was uh, difficult in the beginning, you, you know, getting used to making the right choices. And it, like he had mentioned, it was a mind game. So yeah. we really had to battle with ourselves and then, you know, again, hold ourselves accountable to just keep pushing forward and not lose sight of the goal at the end of it, which, you know, we were consistent about it. So that allowed us to just keep going forward. I, I hear so often the hardest part is really just getting started, making the decision and then, and then just going. Would you agree with that? Absolutely, and, and I, I think the, the main thing there is to start small, mm -hmm. set small goals, make small changes, and be consistent. And I always used to say, I'll start next Monday, and I wish I would have done it two years ago. So I, I think it's one of those things, just get started now, pick a small goal, and then work towards it. So so setbacks, what are some issues that either of you face during, during this journey together? Uh, I, I'm type 1 diabetic, so um, I've had to adjust my um, regimen with my insulin and testing my blood sugar a lot more. So I've had to stay on top of that aspect of myself. So that was a big challenge for me in the beginning, and I've pretty much maintained that by myself now. Yeah, yeah, I would say it was really, I think, like most people struggle with those late night cravings. So yeah, going to the snack closet and just pulling out and just eating. And I think what we did to kind of overcome that was replace it with healthy options. So whether that's hummus and carrots versus Doritos and goldfish. Um, and that really helped a lot too. When I needed to have that snack, it was still a, a healthy option. Gotcha. Quick last question. How can people get in contact with you? Do you have a website or on social media? Uh, you can find uh, my social media at Perfectly Imperfect uh, 013 on YouTube. And I've been uh, posting recipes and things that I like to cook for us on there. So that's where you can learn more about us. All right. Ashley and Brendan, thank you so much. Congratulations to both thank of you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thank you.